Alright. Oh, I just got a wish. Fight, hunt, fish, the whatever. Hello, this is uh, me, you know, Kami Studios. Dab, dab, dab. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a, another top 10 Kibo shows list. I should make more of these. I haven't got any views on this. The last one I made was like a week ago. Got 30 views already. Pretty sure it got more than that now. But, um, yeah. Um, we're gonna do the top three overlooked Tubo shows. Those shows I personally think that deserve more attention but don't get much attention by the viewers or Cubo. And number one is the secret billionaires or millionaires. I'm not sure which one. But, yeah, it's some secret millionaires. I just saw the tag thing. But, uh, it's the Secret Millionaires Club, and it's about Warren Buffett here. I don't know if you could see that was, that was Warren Buffett. And a group of kids, he's helping to teach them to do business and stuff and learn to invest. Um, you don't really learn to invest in this, but it teaches you valuable lessons in, like, a basic way. But they're so useful, and it's a really nice programming, but it's overlooked and overrated by people. Because on Cubo, like, if you don't entertain people a lot in it and, like, show struggles in real life and the related topics like Jacob Tutu does, or you're not just, like, comedy and stuff, like Proly and the other ones, or just, like, really nice for kids and you have memories about it and you watch it again. If you're not, like, those type of shows, <coughs> like, uh, Secret Million Millionaires Club isn't. So if you're not like those type of shows, you won't get much recognition. Uh, you might get some recognition, but it's very rare. Um, I ho I think that Secret Millionaires Club should get more. Um, Cubo put it on their Night Owl program thing, and now it's at like 12 p.m. But I want everybody that's watching this video to like, to subscribe, Comment down below, whatever, I don't care, I'll still heart it, read it, and I'll visit your channel or whatever. I want everybody to go down in the link right now. Wait, there's not, there's not going to be a link. I want everybody to go on Cubo right now, or go on the website, learn more about this, and watch it. Cause I think you should watch it more, even though I don't. Hehehehe. <laughs> Alright, number two, New Tree Ventures. This show was a Portuguese show about this kid right here. His name is, I forgot, and this is his girl. Not not his girl, but his girlfriend, not girl, girlfriend, like, like, kissy kiss stuff. She's like, she's a friend, but she's a fee. she's a female friend. Uh, that's his sister, that's his, um, that's his, oh God, I'll explain it later, I'll explain what that is later. That's his fat, 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 obese, fat, eating, fatty, fat, fat friend. That's the villain, that's his uh, sidekick, that's uh, their stupid henchman. They made them retarded and green and stuff. Um, this one looks like he... This one looks so mad because he, it looks like he dropped the soap in the shower in prison and now he's rethinking his life choices. Uh, but this is about this kid, I forgot his name, and this girl and this fat, fat, obese kid, which is also their friend, and his sister. And they take a field trip to this guy, the villain's corporation, and the only available food there is called... I forgot also but it's they only have one specific food and they took away all the healthy foods that give people energy and their food only has gives you energy for about 10 minutes and then they visit they, these two uh, visit the factory um, they see everything and then they he tell he tells his dad about it and his dad tells him he needs to go on a quest to unlock all the food so people can eat the foods um, and then he takes all of them on a quest and the person who behind the corporation that he's right. So this kid's grandfather's right, so this kid's grandfather 
worked at the company this used to be not his company but a different company and it, it used to be uh, the original food stuff and then he got old and this was his son Alex and he wanted to make money he didn't care about health and stuff and there was other scientists and he took over the corporation and stuff with his henchmen and his um, other sidekick or whatever and then he created these Goompas and these scientists went to kingdoms with their Goompas and kept the foods and people ate that stuff. And they're going on a quest to unlock it all. Jesus Christ, it's a really, really, really complicated series to explain. But it's, uh, I actually like it, but it's not on Kibo. The Kibo's not airing it anymore because of low popularity. So, uh, go watch this one. I, I, I promise you, you'll like it. It's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. Alright, you know, I was gonna put Chirp as the next one, but then I realized it was just, it was a new show, and Kibo doesn't know what to do with it yet, so, I was gonna say, I'm gonna say that for the next, when they change the schedule. But Joe and Jack is a crappy animated show that's entertaining somehow for me. Um, I recommend it for ages 3, retarded kids, to ages 4. Not so retarded kids, but kind of still retarded. Um, I don't know why I like it. I'm not retarded. It's just like, I watch it because I'm bored. And I think other people should watch it when they're bored. So, yeah, watch it.